CNC engineer. And welcome to TYC. It is a series where I take your challenges and execute them in game. All challenges will be done on accounts with double name change so no one knows it's me. Will I fail or will I succeed? On a fresh account, start from a single needle and trade up as far as you can with other players and see how far you can get in 50 trades. A new challenge starts with a new in-game name and we're gonna go for Sir Trade Up. I'm not really sure how to go about this. Should I just spam out the text for everyone to read? Or should I go to specific people, have a conversation with them and then try to get a trade up? Anyway, sorry for changing the subject, but would you like to trade up a needle? Ooh, Thick Penis 9 is looking into trading up my needle. I just had some friendly conversations with him. <gasps> Thick Penis, this is my first trade. What are we upgrading from? <gasps> what? Our first trade is 58k. Oh my god. This guy wants to trade up as well. X Games. This is my second trade. This is my second trade, a fury. Oh my god, it's been so long. It's been so long and I finally pulled off a 3k trade up. I got a berserk necklace. Ever since I got my furies, the trades have been so, so difficult to get. I've been holding this berserk necklace for one or maybe two hours now. 3.8 mil. That's huge. That's huge. Now that I had an archer's ring, the struggles began. For three hours, I didn't get a single trade up and I got desperate. For a few minutes, I talked to this level 125. He gave me a cake and we started drinking together. And then when I asked for a trade up, he offered to double my archer's ring. And as a person that's always curious to find out if a rich high level would scam anyone in game, I decided to give him the archer's ring and see what happened. <laughs> He actually logged. He said, I'll double it for you, but then he said, I scam you if you want. From the moment he logged out, I started tracking his every movement and every XP drop using Temple OSRS, and I started looking for him in game on C Engineer for an interview. And I found him. <gasps> oh my, I, I actually found him. I didn't expect to find him. What do I even say? Hello sir, you took an archer's ring from me two days ago, why? He's not gonna respond is he? He's completely ignoring me right now. He logged out! He logged out! Why would he log out and not respond? I will actually find him again. Okay, I found him again. I found him again. Is he gonna ignore me or log out once again? He tapped! He teleported away. Why is he panicking so much? And honestly, if you find this man in game, please don't harass him. He was honest from the start. He said he would scam me and he did. And I respect him being honest. Next challenge comes from Factor 75 and they want me to tell us everything about Factor 75. Do you want to save time and alleviate stress? Factor cuts out stressful meal planning and extensive prepping so meals come together in minutes. Factor even offers meals for those looking to follow keto, low calorie or vegan and vegetarian lifestyle. Factor helps you reach your goals and if you're into fitness then it all starts with the food. Factor makes it possible for you to achieve your daily goals through nutritious purposeful eating. And this is perfect for gamers. Factor's no hassle prepared food makes you always have something nutritious on hand when you don't have time to think about making lunch or dinner. Grab a smoothie or keto shake for a quick snack or heat and eat a chef quality meal in just two minutes with no prep or cleanup necessary. You can stay focused on what you love to do. Use my link or go to go.factor75.com and use code POGENGINEERMAR50 for 50% off your first box. Once you click, my description will live update to count up the purchases. Go PK dressed as Harry Potter. This will be my Harry Potter look. We got the glasses, we got the Gryffindor scarf, the black robes, and of course the wand. Wingardium Leviosa. Avada Kedavra. <laughs> Idiot. This guy is actually good. I'm epic. Scared Potter. <laughs> Scared Potter? I have to dip. I have no food left. Wait, what is this guy in? <laughs> I'm fighting Harry Potter! Wingardium Leviosa. 
Avada Kedavra. No way, that was a chance. Uh. Avada Kedavra. I did it! Call me dog! <laughs> Voldemort is dead. We PK'd 1.5 mil as Harry Potter and challenge completed. If you like this series idea and want to see more, make sure to leave a like and maybe even a challenge in the comments. TYC, complete two Grandmaster PBM tasks in the next episode and we're currently at the Corrupted Gauntlet because we're gonna kill Hunleth without making more than one attuned weapon. After dying like seven or eight times, I realized that all you really need to do to complete this challenge is to upgrade your defensive gear as much as possible and it should be easy. And that is exactly what it was. I had plenty of food left after killing the Corrupted Hunleth. The boss could barely hit me and I completed the challenge. Corrupted Hunleth has been completed. Grandmaster combat task completed. And what do we get? We get absolutely nothing. So while I'm here at the Corrupted Gauntlet, I might as well try this one. Kill the Corrupted Hunleth without making a potion within the Corrupted Gauntlet. In my opinion, this challenge was easier. You just bring more food, you can bring two attuned weapons, and you just prayerful like the entire thing. This is... come on! It's it! I did it! I think that was the second attempt. Ignore all diet. Grandmaster combat task completed. That's two. We have now 12 out of 88. And challenge completed. Jack has two challenges for me. The first one is win an LMS game with vengeance. We finally got the challenge. Is that one down? Darox and Claws, the perfect FTP king set. Do we think there's a bottle up here? Oh, there is. Yep, he's dead. You're a god. And he's dead. Oh! He's dead. Yep. Nice. There you go, another kill. Sadly, the bots are ruining this challenge for me. Oh. Come here. Oh, go on! <laughs> oh my god. Bench. He can't sit, hit a 60. He's dead. Uh, well, I completed the challenge first try. But now time for Jack's second challenge, which is attack somebody in the wilderness and when they are almost dead, offer them a riddle to solve in reward for their life. I have found a streamer I'm gonna do the challenge on. His name is Radish Boy. He's in world 342. Oh shit. Answer this riddle correctly and I'll let you live. What has a head and a tail but no body? Um... No way he got... He got the free slug. I'm so mad. I'm so mad. <laughs> it doesn't matter because we got away. <laughs> Yo! I failed the challenge of Radish, but I found a new guy, Red Eye OSRS, and I'm gonna do it on him instead. Answer this riddle correctly, and I'll let you live. What has a head and a tail, but no body? Him. I don't know. You're dead. Chat, what's, what has a head and a towel, but no body? Coin! He said it! Okay, you live. <laughs> oh, go on, Mustang! <laughs> Is it bad? Wait, he's riddle man. <laughs> I'm done! <laughs> TYC, high stakes skill specs for 100 mil, then when you kill him, delete the key and send him the clip of you deleting the loot. He is currently streaming, but not in 100 mil risk, but we're still gonna do the challenge. Oh my god. No! I could have killed him there. First chance. But you just. That. Oh, he's dead. Yes. We got the key. We got the key from Skillsvex. It's 5 mil loot, but you know what? It's not about the loot, it's about sending the message. And we're gonna destroy this key and send it to him live on stream. Yes, I'm sure. <laughs> Look at your Discord DMs, SC Engineer. Why would you do that? Why? No man, it's not even like a picture of his penis or anything bro, he's just him destroying my 5.6 mil key. That's how much I was risking. The next challenge, let's get 10,000 likes. Alright viewers, you know what to do. Fight someone and let them get you to low HP, then finish yourself off with an enchanted symbol. But I think I'm gonna use the Dwarven Cake, Divine Ranging Potion and a CGS 
at the Grand Exchange, which I will get more reactions if I die here. Okay, let's pretend to do this. Oh shit, <laughs> we did it. Oh. L. <laughs> you just said L. There was no reaction from anyone. What the F happened? I don't know you killed yourself. I don't know how. The next challenge comes from Puggin and he wants me to complete his solo chambers without dying with tier 70 gear and below. So I believe this is the best tier 70 gear I could obtain. We couldn't go with a trident so we had to use an accursed scepter, the new wilderness weapon, and then of course the dragon hunter crossbow. Reaching Ulm in this setup is not really that difficult. The struggle for me is running the boss cleanly to avoid taking any damage and therefore having enough supplies to complete the raid without dying. Alright, only a head left and we're out. And we're dead. Two failed attempts so far in this challenge, but I can now run the Ulm head more cleanly and save supplies. However, now on the third attempt, I have reached the final phase of Ulm, but I have no bruise left. I'm out of food. Don't hit. Oh, that's the worst. Dead? Oh my god, I was out of food and we did it. We completed the TYC challenge, zero deaths, 30k points, and we get absolutely nothing. In the making of this video, I did fail this challenge right here. Run through an expert TOA with the only gear that you can get from Clue Scrolls. If any streamer wants to attempt to do this challenge and successfully completes it, I will send you $100. All I need from you is a full VOD of the challenge, you need to do it solo, and you need to be the first one to send me the completed challenge. The one item I do allow, which is not from Clue Scrolls, is the Keras. Any of the Keras with the jewels. It is almost the one year anniversary of providing Swedish culture in the end of my videos. I didn't think we would go on to do this for one entire year, but thank you all for enjoying this part of the videos. We have seen so much together, Swedish anxiety screams, <laughs> midsummer celebrations, me 10 years ago breakdancing, Swedish high school celebrations and my sister getting married. And there is still so much more we are going to see and experience together. So yeah, goodbye.